Hey everybody, I'm Jim from CamperReport.com and in this video I'm going to give you 19 reasons to choose a Class C motorhome and not a Class A. Now, to be clear, I don't have anything against the Class A motorhomes. In fact, I'm buying one right now. Uh, but I've done a ton of research uh, over the last weeks and months uh, in the differences between the two and looking at as many as possible, uh, just trying to, see, trying to see which way to go. So uh, there are good reasons to choose both. I don't ignore that. Uh, just that if you are considering a Class C, here are some benefits that you're going to get. Okay, first you're probably going to get more sleeping space, but this is a benefit that's going away. Because a Class C obviously has the bed right above the driver and passenger, uh, but we're seeing a lot of the newer uh, RVs coming home, coming in with drop-down beds above uh, the driver, driver and passenger that are motorized. And so this is a benefit that's going away right now, um, but it's still there. You know, things like the Thor Ace, um, uh, Class A are gonna gonna have that uh, bed above the Coachman 33BH is gonna have that bed above. Uh, a lot of RVs are coming out with that. Next is multiple entrances and exits. Most motorhomes are only gonna have one entrance and exit. Uh, sometimes you'll get two, one in the very back, uh, but usually just one door to exit. And it's nice when you're just getting gas or running into a store that you don't have to climb out over the doghouse and get out. You have a, just a normal car door out from the, the driver and passenger seat. Next is price. You can save a lot of money by choosing a Class C. Uh, for motorhomes that are under $100,000, I think I, the average number that I've been seeing are, you know, when we're comparing apples to apples of a pretty similar style and length motorhome, you're saving about $15,000 by choosing the Class C over the Class A. Uh, so uh, the price is definitely uh, there. And that's probably why they're a more popular rental vehicle. If you're going to rent an RV, it's probably going to be a Class C uh, because they're less expensive for the rental companies to buy. Next, significantly safer for front impact accidents. Now, a rear impact accident in an RV is not too scary because you have so much between you and that car that hits you. Um, and while it may be damaging, it's probably not going to hurt you. Um, but a front impact accident in a Class A is devastating. I mean, there's not much between you and what hits you or what you hit. In a Class C, it's a truck. I mean, you have the engine that drops down and you have this crash box in there that's designed to crumple and save you from uh, from being injured or killed. And so, and plus they have airbags in a Class, in a class C. No airbags in a Class A. So the safety for a front impact collision is significant. Engine access on a Class C is obviously far better. Uh, you know, it's just like a normal truck. You lift up the hood and you have the engine there and it's a pretty normal looking engine layout. In a Class A, it can be very difficult to, uh, to, uh, to access that engine. Weight. In general, a Class A motorhome weighs more than a Class C, even if the length is the same. A 30-foot Class C typically weighs about 14,000 pounds, and a Class A of the same size is probably going to be in the 17,000, 18,000 pound range, uh, which is pretty significant. Fuel efficiency. Um, this is one that I read a lot of comments from a lot of people about. Um, if all else is equal, you're probably going to get maybe two miles per gallon better um, on a Class C, but you got to really do some math, which I did for you. So let's say you're driving clear across the United States from San Francisco, California to Richmond, Virginia. Um, that's 2,822 miles. If gas is $3.25 a gallon, which is pretty average as it fluctuates between the years, uh, the price of a vehicle that gets 10 miles per gallon instead of 8, so if you get 10 miles a gallon instead of 8 for driving clear across the country, you're only saving $220. So it's just, it's just not a significant um, thing to consider when we're talking about 2 miles to the gallon. It's just not enough to move the needle on a purchase of an $85,000, $100,000 RV. Uh, $200 is just, it's just doesn't move the needle. Lower to the ground. A Class C RV has less clearance, which may be a bad thing, um, but it feels more natural as you're driving that you're about the same height uh, that, you, uh, that you normally are. 
and it's probably less likely to roll over for that reason. Um, next, easier to find campsites um, for a Class C because a Class C is generally shorter than a Class A. But that's that's kind of not fair to even say because they certainly make short Class A's, not maybe not as short as a Class C, but generally Class C's are shorter than Class A's. But that's not really a benefit of the Class C versus Class A. It's just a short motorhome. So I don't know if that's even that one's even fair. Um, easier to cool the driving area um, on a Class C. A Class A has that gigantic window, and it can get kind of hot uh, driving in there. Um, they usually, you know, have two air conditioners in the box plus your AC in there, so you're usually fine. Uh, but some people report that it's uh, easier to cool the driving area in a Class C. Um, easy to see um, in front of the vehicle. A Class A, you're so high that if, you know, a kid were to walk right in front of you, uh, you couldn't even see that somebody's there. Um, in a Class C, you, you could. You're lower to the ground. A tighter turn radius on a, on a Class C. I don't know. I would. I want to test this one head to head. Uh, I'm not totally sure that that's true, but uh, that's that's what uh, a couple a couple people reported to me. Wind drag is an interesting one. Uh, so if you have a crosswind, a, a wind coming a perpendicular to the to the RV, you're probably better in a Class C, lower to the ground. You're just not as high. It's not going to you know blow you over. However, when you're driving forward, it has that cup that bunk in front of the the driving area and that's just really terrible in terms of wind dynamics um, and so uh, it, it's not more aerodynamic going forward but if you have a crosswind you know you may you may get a little benefit there uh, much easier to find mechanics who are going to work on a class C just about any mechanic that works on a truck is going to work on uh, on a class C uh, the engine everything is very similar um, so that's significant. RVs break down constantly, and so uh, being able to find somebody in, you know, a tiny little town in Idaho, you know, Sam in Mackey, Idaho, <laughs> you're you're gonna want that Class C. So those are some of the benefits to choosing a Class C. Uh, check uh, check more on the YouTube channel. I'm going to have another post with some of the benefits of the Class A and why I decided to choose that over the Class C in the end. So check that out as well. Uh, if you're liking the information I'm sharing, uh, just as I'm learning it, I'm a newbie to, to RVs. I'm sure I'm making mistakes too, but I'm just sharing what I'm learning. So uh, if you like this information, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys. We'll see ya.